Now keeping you and your family safe. This is Two Works For You Weather, certified most accurate. I know, it's time to shake off the long holiday weekend and get back to business. Viper 2 HD, Mother Nature not bringing us any active weather today. Although the rain well off to our east, this is where the system's going to sit today. And we're watching our next weather maker. It's this cold front. Notice not a lot of rain being generated by this front. And by the time it gets here tomorrow, it will pass through. It'll kick up our winds. It'll keep temperatures in check. But I don't expect any rain out of that system. We'll be rain-free today as well. Through our McAllister cam, you can see a mainly clear sky. We're starting off mainly clear in Bartlesville, too. Also the case in Tulsa. We're at 25 degrees this morning. Humidity is at 81 percent. Our dew points at 20 and winds are out of the west northwest at 3. It's 27 right now in Oak Mulgee, 20 in Bartlesville, 25 in Pryor, and 21 in Tahlequah. We have a mainly clear sky. The clouds are continuing to break just across the state line into Arkansas and also Missouri. And of course, those clouds overnight have helped them stay a touch warmer. It feels like the teens and the low 20s when you factor in the wind chill this morning, and it will still feel cool even this afternoon with highs generally landing in the upper 40s. Overnight tonight, we're looking at mainly quiet weather. Here comes that front I mentioned. It'll pass through during the day on Tuesday, but again, notice it won't generate any uh, rain for us. In fact, not even really generating any cloud cover. We will see a gusty north wind on Tuesday, and then that wind will ease up for our Wednesday. So here's the plan for the next few days. We're looking at a high of 48 degrees today down to 30 tonight, 49 on your Tuesday. Wednesday and Thursday temperatures are in the 50s, which uh, still low to mid 50s below normal for this time of the year. Could be a couple sprinkles with yet another front on Thursday. That doesn't look like a big deal. A cool down for your Friday, 28 in the morning with a high of 44. And our next best chance of rain, well, you see it there. It's a 50% chance for Saturday night into Sunday. And it does seem like we're due for a few snowflakes, doesn't it? You know, we typically do see some snow in November. Looks uh -huh. like we're going to escape that. And obviously, we <laughs> see snow in December. We haven't had any yet this season, but stay tuned. That could change. Well, wait and see. Thank you, Julie. Well